Welcome to my channel. This video shows how to perform DC analysis of a SRAM cell designed with six transistors. For the analysis, consider the design of a SRAM cell with six transistors. So this is a two transistors making one inverter and this is the another two transistor making the inverter. So output is taken from these two points QB and Q. Word line is acting as the input, bit line is also acting as the input and BL bar is also acting as a input. The supply voltage is of 1.8 volt. Once the design is completed, Go to the launch and you can select ADE Explorer or ADE Assembler. I will take the option as ADE Assembler or Explorer. Click on ADE Assembler. Click on New. Now the view is a Master View. Click OK. Now it opens a AD assembler view. Here you need to load the test. So this is the SRAM. Click on OK. The view is AD Explorer. You can switch up and back using this now click on analysis select DC save DC operating point click on component parameter select the component select the supply voltage at this output pole. select the VDC voltage click OK Sweep the parameter from 0 to 1.8. Click on OK. Go to the master view. Analysis is loaded. If you want, you can add the variables if you have done. Else, go directly back to the ADE assembler view. And similarly, you need to provide the inputs. For that, you can click here, add the outputs or expression. We want a signal to be plotted, not this, so delete. Click here and click on signal. Double click on it to select the signal to be plotted. We want QB as one of the output similarly click on one more signal just double click on it select the Q once this is loaded in the ADE Explorer go back or you can run here run the simulation Basically, this is the voltage transfer characteristics of an inverter and observe that the SRAM cell is made up of back to back connection of a inverters. So this is first inverter and this is the second inverter. Now to get the actual DC characteristics from this right click click on Y versus Y and plot the curve. So this is one of the curve for Q versus QB. 
again select the DC select this time you select the Q you can directly merge these two curves and see the change so this represents the DC characteristics of a SRAM cell if you want you can change this change the value to 1 volt change the value DC value to 1 volt for these pulses also DC voltage to 1 volt already the maximum value is 1.8 but still you can provide the DC voltage to 1 volt and this one DC value as 1 volt similarly BL see the effect of that check and save the design right now you have this curve rerun the simulation there is a offset from this the characteristic remains same but let me plot that change QB right click Y versus Y and Q just merge these two delete this you can see that earlier it has started from here earlier it started from here because of the change in DC voltage it has an offset and measure the value at this point 